And what up everybody, welcome back to Feral Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines and DIY publishing. And today we're going to finish up looking at some of the zines sent to me by Eric Sobel. Once again, that's at Eric Sobel Art. Of course, information uh, will be in the show notes. So this is how we're going to break these up, you guys. First, I'm going to talk about Death Cat for Cutie. And uh, this one right here, what your favorite Death Cat for Cutie album says about you according to a total dick. And it's basically just that. He basically is uh, ragging on different albums from Death Cat for Cutie and the kind of people that he thinks uh, enjoys them, defends them, and things like that. Uh, I'm not a big Death Cat for Cutie fan, and I didn't realize they had this many albums. Um, so, you know, it's definitely... Um, it definitely is for a very niche audience, the Death Cat for Cutie aspect of it. Now, these obviously are more of my take. This one right here, Antisocial Construct 1 and 2, I really enjoyed these. And the reason why is because I definitely identified with a lot of it having gone to school, um, uh, you know, college and stuff. And a lot of it really is about just kind of that culture and the kind of people you encounter. And, and it's strange because I don't know Eric. And I don't know, this guy for sure, Some someone I think we've all encountered, someone who has a favorite book, and for some reason, this book, he believes, applies to everything. But yeah, uh, Antisocial Construct, um, definitely a real-life humorous kind of approach to just, you know, school. So, really enjoyed these two. Here we just have some more comics. And it's funny because one is about his mom and as much as he didn't say it, but let me tell you about Rush, it's kind of about his dad. So I thought this was kind of funny and the fact that he used the same kind of paper as the cover, I don't know if that was intentional or just because that's what he had. Nothing very crazy about it. I mean, I like the art. I like his version of Chupacabra. And I'm wondering if he's saying... Um, I'm wondering what he's trying to say as his mother, as a metaphor of her being a chupacabra, if she's kind of a, a bloodsucker. But I definitely liked his version of the chupacabra. Let me tell you about Rush I found to be just great cartooning, man. Once again, this guy's just really good at what he does. And uh, basically, this story is, is just, it's more absurd, funny art that you would think to find from Eric, right? Like, look, he chops his own head off. I like that too, that cartooning. Right? But then he becomes a head in a jar. His dad's there still talking about Rush. So he leaps out and dies. Then he goes to heaven. Then he goes to hell. Then it was all a dream. But wait, what happens next? Well, you got to read it to find out. But yeah, you guys, so these were some of the zines that he also sent me. And I feel like that's going to pretty much cover it. The other two that he sent me that I really enjoyed a lot was How to Draw Doctor Strange Made Easy and Anyone Can Draw Batman. These two mini zines are amazing mini zines and I definitely want to get stuff like this into the vending machine. So hopefully I can reach out to Eric and maybe we can work something out and I can carry these. I definitely enjoyed that. This one right here is a one pager. I love this little bonus thing right here in the back. So I definitely like these two small ones. And this is one that I plan to do a, a more in-depth um, review on. I know you better than yourself. Reluctant ramblings on emotional abuse, toxicity, and gaslighting from a professional casualty by Eric Sobel. So this for me, um, I haven't finished reading it. So that's also why I'm not reviewing it. But it definitely is uh, text heavy. And uh, the content is uh, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy. So definitely expect a, a larger review on this later on. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Lates.